Well, new tonight, we are taking steps to get a historic mausoleum fixed. The building's roof collapsed over the weekend, exposing it to the elements. Seven Action News reporter Tara Edwards is taking action for you from Pontiac. It's hard for Larry Keene to look at it in this condition. The roof of this historic mausoleum collapsed. The cemetery is the final resting place for veterans and their families going back to the Civil War and Michigan Governor Moses Wisner from the 1800s. My parents and grandparents are here, but my consideration is of each and every one that's buried here, what they stood for. They built Pontiac. This mausoleum was built in the 1830s. It's one of seven in the Oak Hill Cemetery in Pontiac. Larry has been putting in his time and money for years to maintain it, but it hasn't been enough. It, it just tears me apart. I do all I can do. And to see something like this, if I had a wand, I'd wave it and put it the way it should be. Even if we just get some monetary help from the citizens who have loved ones buried here, that would be a, a, a instrument. The cemetery is owned by Pontiac, but Keene says the city hasn't had the money to do the upkeep. The Detroit Memorial Park Association got involved about a year ago, and there has been some progress since then. But today, a big surprise came through. At this point, my, uh, my boss says it doesn't matter. Let's fix it. Let's get it done. And how does that feel? How do you, how do you feel about it? Feels good. Feels good. Finally, somebody cares. A contractor has now been secured to repair this structure. In all regards, to thank Channel 7 and their staff for getting involved with this story because it, they were good at what they do and did. I, I'm hoping in the future that we can do more to restore the cemetery. And Larry believes that because of our report, things have really started to move. Tomorrow, contractors will be out at that mausoleum working on repairs. But we're told that they are in need of more donations to help maintain a lot of these historical structures. In Pontiac, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.